Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Songs of Six. This is a fantasy city-state simulator, as it calls itself. Something similar to like RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress, where we'll be building a, a kingdom. And uh, it's an extremely ambitious idea, because it says we're going to be having citizens in the thousands. So I guess as the game goes on, we'll be starting out with like 10 dwarves here, and uh, building a keep and all of that. But eventually we'll be going up to the overworld and building multiple cities and having thousands and thousands of units, maybe going on some sort of war campaigns with them, uh, and moving into like a diplomacy, trade, empire kind of, of game. So extremely ambitious and interesting idea. I thought we should take a look at the thing. Very early development here. It is free right now over on itch.io. I'll have a link if you want to check it out. You've arrived at this new promising land, but you can tame it and prove yourself a worthy king. Question mark. Let's find out. At your disposal are a few subjects and building materials. Also a throne. Throne is the center of our city. So it wants us to go and build some farms and get this thing set up. So here we go. We have a small little building here. There's walls on the side, flooring, and of course there's a roof on top. We got a throne and we got some stockpiles in here. Some torches back there also. Uh, some cotton and wood and all that. Here's our citizens. We've got, how many do we have? I think just I think there's 10. Uh, maybe 9. Yeah, 10 of them. We got Fluth Redash over here. 34 years old. He's doing nothing at the moment. Uh, and you can see he has wants and needs and all that. We can see all of our dwarves right in here. And yes, they are dwarves. They call themselves something different, but they're dwarves. They call themselves Dondorians, which are also dwarves. Um, and we can see all the stockpiles and everything that we've got over here. Let me just get this thing started and uh, go get our farm set up. So let's put in, it said 8x8 eight eight squares of the three different farms. So we've got vegetables, fruit, grain. There's also cotton, so that's four farms, really. Uh, we'll set up a vegetable farm. We're going to put it over, over, oh, I don't know, over this way. I'll show off the map, too. The map is extremely large. Let me do, um, we'll do 8x8 eight eight on that one. I'm not going to do 8x8 eight eight on, on all of them, just because it takes forever to make them. We can expand them later on. But let's just get our fruit farm set up. We'll put them all in a row here. We'll do this one by 8x4. By and then um, we'll put in a grain farm next to it of 8x5, sure. And then uh, we'll do a little bit of cotton also down this way like that okay so let me go ahead and get this thing going and the dwarves we'll get ready and see what they see those they'll stare at the idea go get it go get it reshar eh? nope you just oh there they go there they go okay start digging out the uh the ground chopping trees down and all of that let me show the map here so this thing is 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 massive so we can see we're here and it is giant there's like a river down this way there's some uh some rocks laying around there's lots of animals all over the place there's some Little puddles here. We've got mountains up, up to the north here. And uh, we can also go to the uh, the world map. Which, I guess, in time, they're going to be having, you know, our vision is to have this full of cities, kingdoms, camps, villages, trade caravans all around here. There's my spot right here. And again, it's massive. There's nothing out here at the moment because it's still early days. But it is a giant map. Uh, and we're here in the middle. And we can go in. We can do it now. We can go in and build multiple towns if we want to. But we will not. Just yet. I don't know if you saw me there. I'm that little spot right there. Uh, okay, so they're getting hard at work working on these uh, these farms. But we need to get a stockpile set up. That's the first thing it told me. There's not really any kind of tutorial here. I just read a few things on the itch page, and that's pretty much it. So um, I set up a few workers here. I want a woodcutter to come out here and, well, woodcut. So let's find a spot where some trees are and just mark them to go here. And they should automatically, two people are employed now. They're going to go over here and get to work chopping trees. we got Fluth. And Rishar are now woodcutters, and they're doing some timber cutting. So all that wood we get hauled into here, uh, into our new stockpile, which we're going to set up here. We're going to wood combo, which is ceiling, walls, all that. And we're going to put it in. We'll just do it over here. Stockpile land can be right there. It's plenty big. Okay. So they get to work on that eventually as soon as they get a bunch of wood brought in here. Some already there waiting to be brought in. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and mark out a, a hunter as well. Which was this one? Yeah. Put a hunter over here as well. There's some animals running around, so let's go ahead and do that. Someone will go over here, grab a bow, and start killing some Smilodons. Absolute ruler of the forest. 100 stones, armed with sharpest fangs and claws. Yeah, someone we should not be messing with. We also have Orox. And uh, what are you? Uh, Dinoris. A bleeding, grass-eating son of a lamb. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. More cats. More angry cats. Hopefully they'll be friendly cats today. There we go. We got walls going up here, and uh, there is a, there's some doors there, so we can walk into the main throne room here. We can come in and we can build like proper fortifications. You know, if we wanted to make something fancy, uh, maybe just a little one, just just for now, you know. Um, yeah, like that. We'll put a door right there in the front. There we go. Okay, oh, make more than just a simple door. 
Oh, yeah, I can make reinforced doors. Heavy doors. Oh, oh. Look at that. Okay. I hadn't noticed that before. We also have torches we can put in. We got columns we can we can set up. Let's put some columns outside to make it look extra fancy. Like that. Oh, I can make statues. Oh, just columns. Those are basically them. So they'll sit outside there to make us look extra cool. Let me mark this thing up. This field is is oh this one's this one's done. So if someone's already working on it, he's clearing some weeds out, he'll start planting some cotton here in just a minute. And um well one person is assigned to this job. And we have at the moment ten population. Three people are employed, right? We got the uh the two woodworkers and the, the hunter. Those are the employed folks. We'll get one on the cotton farm pretty soon. Um and we can keep an eye on our subjects here. Constipation, right? They need bathrooms. Um cleanliness, they need they need a bathhouse, they need need bedrooms as well. Um we'll get that stuff in as soon as possible. Get stockpile in here first, and then we'll go work on those rooms. So that's almost done, and it is now done. So let's go and put in a stockpile. We'll set it right here and mark it like that. And we can have it hold crates. Something like... I think this probably plenty big. We'll do one there and one there. That's, yeah, that's plenty of crates, I think. Two workers are going to have to work this place. There we go. So we get it all marked out, and we'll have lots and lots of stockpile room. There is doorways. See, so it automatically puts them in there. So um, right now it's just open. So we'll put some walls in there, I guess, at some point. Uh, here's the the battle mode. I'm not quite sure how this works. I haven't messed with it any, and I don't even know if it's in the game yet. Uh, but if it does get in there, we'll have to make sure we check it out. There's that guy over there. Are you dead? Oh, no. You just have 17 meat on you and 5 pelts if we were to kill you. Uh, we got Ogri over here who is working on that outside wall. It's looking fancy now, I think. Yeah, looking real nice. Yeah. Very pixely and nice. Okay, let's get some bedrooms for our, our, uh, our dwarves here. So we're going to stick with wood because that's what's nearby. And I guess we can just build off from... Well, you know what? Maybe we build like our, our carpentry... Not carpentry, but those kind of tool makers and weapons makers all over here. And we do the bedrooms and all that over on this side. We could try that. Let's do something like... Similar to what we've got over here. Doesn't quite need to be that big, though. There's not a lot of us here. Maybe something like that. And then we'll build the, um, like, the bathrooms over here. And we're going to need a place to eat. Or to, yeah, to eat. So, maybe back there. It's kind of small, but I think it'll work. Is that, is that even? Uh, not really. It'll work. Um, we'll have a nice central room there. Yeah, that'll work good. And, um... I think that's big enough. Let me make sure. Let me put one more row on this bathhouse. Make sure it's big enough. Like that. There we go. Okay. Speed this thing along and get them working. Um, my wood chopper is working. We can also tell them just to go and chop a bunch of wood. Like, say, uh, let's clean this stuff up out here. Like that. Clear all that out. Um, and if there's any rocks around, we can pick those up too. Which there is not. Any rocks? There's one rock. There's a rock there, too. So, any any free dwarves will go out and pick up this stuff. Looks like our... Uh, it's 85%, so we're getting there. Um, you can see why I didn't do 8 by 8 It takes a very long time to get it made. Someone is working the... Uh, and tending in the fields. So, Wolf over here is laying some cotton down. This place needs some more wood, which they're getting in there. And we'll get these crates built up. So, it'll give them a place to stock some stuff. Which will give us some immigrants. And, uh, and migrants mean more people. So we want that for sure. Okay, anything else we need to show off here? Um, oh, here's all the, the uh, resources we've got. My stockpile, when we have it working, it'll show. we got, like, our hunter. We have one guy working the hunting spot. One cotton farm coming in. Um, industry. We have smelters and coalers and tool places. Feast halls we'll all get at, hopefully, soon. Yeah, I, I was reading through the it page. It sounds amazing. It's, it's extremely ambitious. And, um... Uh, it... It really reminds me of something like Stronghold, but then you run uh, Stronghold, but then you go out into the world. And um, what, from what it sounds like, is it starts out, you know, this is very RimWorld style. We've got just a few dwarves hanging around, and you're building up your basic base. But it says you can have up to five digits population caps. So that's 10,000, um, which is insane to think about. Uh, I'm not sure how you, you would manage something like this, but I guess it, it, it moves over from being a colony simulator into being an empire simulator because you're going to be dealing with trade and uh, diplomacy and things like that I guess at some point is the idea anyway so let's just go ahead and get this finished up here and we'll see what we can get done with this one what's with that no one's allocated to hunt go hunt
There we go. Maybe we shouldn't be hunting right now, because those those animals seem kind of scary. Um, oh, wait, wait, he got one already. Good job, buddy. Sorry, I went too fast. I didn't I didn't see you kill it. But uh, who are you, Valo? He looks he looks angry. Okay, you got you a little bit constipated, buddy. You probably are, um, because you haven't gone to the bathroom in a very long time. How you feeling? Yeah, yeah, we're all kind of constipated. Sorry. Um, we'll get it taken care of real quick. Bedrooms are going there. We're going to get this in the bathhouse right there. So let's hurry up. Um, you can just go by a tree, you know, buddy. So we're not stopping you. Nobody's looking. Let's go. Let's go. If I go faster, maybe they'll, uh, they'll be able to hold it in a little better. <laughs> Hopefully. So this will be your bedroom down this way. Dormitory. And we'll get the bathrooms up here. And then the feast hall over here. We also need a bathhouse as well. They want to be clean. So, um... We'll see how it goes. We can also eventually we can dig into the uh, into the mountains. We saw there's some mountains up this way somewhere. Here they are. Dig up in the mountains up this way. Um, we can also dig um, canals to make things fertile. You can see the soil over here is only 41%, which is terrible. Um, I don't know how it works though. I haven't figured out how to dig this out. It's almost like it needs to be placed. Oh, we place it. Oh, wait a minute. How does that work? I did it. Remove water. I don't want that. Um, that's remove water, but there's also this one. Dig canal. It's never blue, though, so I don't really know how it works. Place it where water once was. I'm not sure what that means. So, yeah, I don't know. We can, I guess, eventually dig canals to help with fertility. We can beautify cave walls or refill mountain caves at some point also. Let's keep it going here. Hopefully no one's died yet. How are you doing? we got 10 population. Yeah, no one's dead yet, so that's good. It's always a plus. We can build graveyards, of course. There we go. Stockpiles are coming in. We can have someone come work it. What they're going to do is maintain it, essentially, and keep it from falling apart. It'll degrade over time. And, um, yeah, we want to make sure we get this thing filled up and keep it all going. And um, after the winter comes, we should get some migrants coming in here. This one's done. So let's mark this out as a feast hall. Let me set this one up like this. So feast hall is going to be that. And let's put some tables in. It's going to be a very small feast hall. Is it too small? I think it's too small. It's too small. Okay, this will not be a feast hall. Let's make it a little bigger. Last time I was playing with this bit of a test game, I uh, I made things a little too big, and, and my dwarves were dying before I even got done with all that. So I'm trying to go a little bit smaller here, try to keep it under control. Um, because eventually you're going to need massive, right? If you're going to have thousands of people, you're going to need massive fortresses. And by the size of the map... Clearly, it's going to want you to have some massive uh, places. Immigration! This rumor spread about a good and just ruler who seems to know what, uh, what, know what, how to get things done. People from all over six have decided to leave behind their rural lives and immigrate to the new promise of a new city. Well, that's the first mistake they made. Can I go over to... Yeah, here we go. So we can see, here comes some people coming in. I got it on super fast speed. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a giant map. It's insanely big. Oh, here we go. Things are done now. Let me zoom in. And let's set up this as a bedroom. Right here. Okay, so we need beds. Uh, what else do we need in here? Beds, knickknacks, carpets. Here we go. Minions sleep. Okay, so we'll set it in right, I guess right there. Sure. It holds eight people. Not very big. We'll make it bigger. Um, can I do... Um, Hang on. Does that, does that work? Yeah, I guess it's fine. We don't need knickknacks and anything in there. That, that's fine. We'll get a few beds in there. We'll make it bigger later on. Um, are you dead? What? Rishar, why are you dead? Rishar, what happened? So this has to be 14 people. Did someone die? We must have... Well, I mean, obviously he did. He's right there. Um, Rishar, I, I mean... Look, you can poop in just a minute. Torch out there. Oh, look at our fancy columns we have out here. And our fortifications. Very nice. Uh, yeah, people are, are uh, dying of, of lack of bathroom. So let's go ahead and set that up right there. And this is going to be latrines. We'll go in, I think, just like, like that. Anything else we need to go? Basins for washing up. I don't have room for any of that. And decorations for whatever, but we don't need decorations. We'll just get the latrines in there right now. Washing up? We don't wash up. We're dwarves. Clean that guy out of there. Or toss him in the toilet or something. We'll expand this one a little bit more, um, hopefully soon. So they're going to want to be cleaned as well. 
So this is using wood. There we go. They got plenty of wood coming in. We also can see this over here. We can see what we've got in, I guess, the stockpiles. Six idle people, which is outrageous. Um, this place, once it gets done, which it looks like it is, it is employed by one person who's maintaining it. It only holds eight beds. So it's only being used by... There you go. You'll see he's, he's you know, tucking the sheets in. What are they doing at night? They're tearing the bed sheets up. What's going on over here? Uh, as long as we don't all sleep at the same time, it's perfectly fine. We need this taken under control. Quickly. Very quickly. What do we need here? Oh, we need more stone for this. I don't think we have enough stone. We need stone for bathrooms for. Uh, we put it all into our uh, our walls here. Probably a bit of a mistake. Let me go and mine whatever we can. Is that... Uh, there's some skeletons out there. Uh, there's some rocks, I think, up this way. Yeah, let's go and clean that stuff up. So, someone should go and do that. We got enough idle people. They'll grab some rocks from over there. We could build a quarry in, like a permanent job. Someone just goes and cuts stone. I'm not opposed to that. Something like that. And make sure that uh, we don't need three people. We'll just put one person on it to go do that job. Now we'll have a nice supply of stone coming in. Okay, this should be big enough for our tables now. Our um, feast hall. Like that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Right click is not the right button. Right there. And we want tables. Can you do something that'll fit? Yeah, that'll work good. Right there. What else do we want in here? Decorations? What else? Carpets? Can I put carpets over, um... As you walk in? Yeah, right there. There we go. And, uh, decorations. Sure, sure. Let's rotate this thing around. That's not gonna, that's not gonna line up. Uh, yeah, okay, good enough. Okay. There we go. Look, looking extra fancy. It uses some of our, whatever those those crayon things are. I think it's gems. And then we got 38 of them sitting here. It doesn't say that I have it. So I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe this is what's in the stockpile, but these actually aren't. You know what I mean? Um, oh, fetch. That's the right button. Yeah, I went, I went on everything. Yeah, fetch. I want, I want everything in here. Um, what are you? You're ore, sure. So we'll grab it from other stockpiles, is what that's saying. So uh, I'm fine with it staying where it's at, but I do want things in here. Do I have to tell you for everything? Yeah, put everything in there. 15 crates. We won't be able to put tools or armor in there if we do this way. Uh, we don't have any metal yet, so don't put metal in there. Put uh, tools in there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so things should get hauled in there soon. And let's crank it up here. How's Are we still good? 14 people? Yeah. No one's died yet. Well, other than that one guy. No one liked him anyway. Oh, vegetable farm. You employed. You got two people working on you. We got the fruit farm working and the grain farm. These are small enough that they only need one person working them. Base fertility, 38%. That's That sounds really, really bad. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds not good at all. So we have enough stone, so the uh, bathrooms are finally going to be done. And uh, there we go. They're already being used. All three uh, bathrooms we have here. Let's spy on them. Staring at the body, you know, for some decorations, I guess. Three stations, but they're all being used right now. It is maintained by somebody. So we should be able to see constipation going down. Excellent. Excellent. We can also adjust our clothes level and cleanliness target. I'm not sure what that all means. And we can see how everyone feels. And we can also, if we go here, you know, we can see where we're at. So uh, Wolf is in here. He's the plumber. He's setting the table uh, in the bathroom. Uh, Fluth is sleeping. We got uh, other Fluth over here wood cutting. Cash is the steward of the uh, of the bedroom. Valo is over this way. It's nice you can see where they're at, which is fantastic, I think. Which is, I think, probably my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Why don't all games do that? It's amazing. There we go. We got some things in our stockpile now. Perfect. Uh, okay, so once that gets done, we still need to wash house. Um, we don't need a grave. Well, we do need a graveyard because we got a dead guy. Uh, let's put a graveyard right out front here. Like, first thing you see when you come to town is a few graves. Very welcoming sight. Something like that. Doesn't have to be too big, I don't think. Graves and trees, flower beds. No, no, no. Just graves. Um, we put two in there. Yeah, two graves for the one guy. There we go. Okay. And we need a wash place. So that's going to be another room, another um, wooden room. I don't think we have enough stone for this. So I'm just going to do wood. We have plenty of trees around. So this is going to be the the um, the bath. Um, the yeah, the bathroom. This is the toilet room. This is the bathroom. Oh, I don't need the noises. <laughs> That's uncalled for. <laughs> okay. 
Um, now I haven't touched. I haven't even touched workshops, industry, um, any of this stuff. We well, we got these set up, so we know this quarry and the woodcutter. But these over here, uh, smel metal smelting, coalers, weavers, uh, tools and weaponsmiths and, and tailors. No, I haven't even touched it. So we need to start working on that. So as soon as this is set up, we'll have our people somewhat happy. Then we can look at other things. Efficiency nine percent. That sounds good, right? Um. Toilets seem to be working. This is at 95%. Hurry up and get that thing done so we can get people uh, eaten in a room. And working on our bathhouse over here also. There's plenty of... Um, yeah, I just need someone to come build it. There he goes. He's going to make it. And there it is. Hooray! People have a spot to eat. Nice. Feast hall. And there's some decorations around. Some some barrels. we got some uh, floors. And people are using the bathroom. It's very disturbing. Here we go. Oh, that's 31 meat in there. How, how are we doing on our... Um, our meat. It says we have zero there. I guess it's all stashed stash over here. I mean, we have some. Hopefully it's enough. I don't really know. It's not much of a tutorial here, obviously. What are you doing? Maintaining what? The columns? Maintaining the columns? That seems silly. Alright. So, um, I guess our next step is to go in and... Oh, torches. Let's put some torches in. All right? Can I put it in here? Oh, does it have to be outside? It does. Um, oh, maybe we can do something different, though. Um, torches, but I don't want torches. I want... Oh, it has to be torches. I don't want them... How would you get those torches in? Do I have to... Maybe because I marked the room out. Maybe that's why it's not working. Hmm. Well, I can't put columns in here either. We can put, uh, I guess, a road. If we want to put in a uh, just a basic road. Fill all this in. Make it look a little better. and uh, And it can go like that. Just to make it look fancy. It's going to use our stone up, but, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, and then over here, we're going to put in, uh, like, a crafty room. So let's build up another spot here. Like this. Of crafty room. It's going to need to be bigger than this. No doubt. Let's go a little bigger. Um, I don't want any walls in there. Build up one big open spot. One, well, not really that big. Something like that. Make sure those walls are cleared out. I think we have to do it like... Can we do like um, that? We're going to have walls either way in here. I think I can come in here and I can say... Oh! Uh, production numbers for the year have arrived. We got 61 meat. We got some some pelts. And lots and lots of wood and stone. And a bit of cotton has come in already. None of, our, none of these things have produced yet. I want uh, just ceiling. So it should remove any walls we've got in here. I don't want walls. Yeah. Just one big open room. Okay, that's looking a little better, I think. I think that should fix it. So it'll be one giant room we can put in. It looks kind of strange because like, there's walls right there, but we can put in a... Um, I think we can put in this, and it'll open that up. There we go, and we can put a door in there. Like that to separate it from that room. We need a door from there. Separate the bathroom, of course. Um, three doors because it's fancy. Uh, we can also put in walls. Uh, oh, we can't because I made that under a room. Over there, we can put walls there, and this will be our bathhouse, so let's mark that thing out. Slow this down, it's going a little crazy. Bathhouse is going to go right there. And it's going to have basins and benches. Okay. We'll set the basins there. And a bench. Can I fit one in here? Might be a little bit too small. Just a tiny bit too small. One square too small, I think. Yeah. Um, hang on. Bump it out just a, just a bit. There we go. Like that. Okay. That'll look a little better. We need to get this wall taken care of also. We got things coming in now. Perfect. I think these are actually getting some work done. We've got, uh, yeah, yeah, a bunch of our farms have produced. So we got a little bit of food coming in. Dwarves are having a bite to eat. Oh, Leash over here is uh, feasting at the moment. Can I come in here later and add in... What's that say? Manage maintenance. No, it doesn't change anything. Can I come in and add anything fully operational? Can I make it to where... I don't think I can add anything to it. I would like to add to it, but I don't think I can. I want to add the, I want to add a rug in there. That's what my dwarves need. Alright, well. It's fine, I guess. So since it's done, we'll, let's put our bathhouse in. And I guess we call it a day. Oh, you know, we have a bunch of... I didn't make any of these yet. So if we want to put in, like, a, a coaler. This guy makes coal from wood. 
So we set him over there, I guess. And there's the machines. We'll set them up back on this side. What else do you have in here? Auxiliaries? I don't know what I don't know what we need. And machines. Okay, those two things. Okay, those, that, that guy will take wood and make coal out of it, which then we can go into, I guess, the metalsmith, which will make metal blocks, and then we can make armor and tools. We also we also have the tailor and the weaver in here. So the smelter, we don't really have any ore around, but um, I suppose we should get, maybe we should get the, uh, the, the tailor and the weaver first. Weaver will go, weaver can't take that much space up, right? When you take machines, rotate you and make you, oh, you are pretty big. Okay, fine, I'll make you a little bigger then. Something like that. And then the machines can go just a small setup and then the auxiliary right there okay and then we need to get our um, tailor to fill up the rest of this space okay same one you got a workstation but workstation auxiliaries okay we don't need any much space this uh, with this guy table can go over there and then the auxiliaries whatever they are We'll go, um, is that like an auxiliary station? Workstation, is that what that means? I don't know. Go over there. Okay, I notice it says it needs it needs metal bars. Do I have any of those? This looks pretty empty. Uh, yeah, I guess I have 18 of them. So there's a few hanging around. Did I get more dwarves? It seems like... Oh, I got more coming. I didn't even see them coming. We got 30 dwarves now. I just happened to look down and there's a whole herd of people. There's a lot of them coming in. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Um, we need a lot. We need a lot bigger bathroom. Uh, let me get that bathhouse in. Okay, let's throw it in like that. And, okay, bathhouse will go down there. And then, benches. So people can just sit and uh, stare, I guess. Is that all we need? Benches and, and basins. Uh, basins and benches, yep. Okay, right there. Okay. There we go, there's our bathhouse. Alright, so there's Songs of Six. It's available on itch.io. It's free to play and uh, still in pretty early development, but certainly an interesting, interesting and ambitious idea. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.